From when I first started in radio, one of my slogans has been Tune for Maximum Brightness. It dated from my first transmitter, which had a light bulb in series with the antenna. Tuning for maximum current correlated with the highest RF output. Via Roger G3XBM, I came across an antenna current indicator on K7HKL's website. It couldn't be simpler. Just three turns of wire passing through a toid connected to an LED. It couldn't be simpler. Just three turns of wire passing through a ferrite toid connected to an LED. Just to demonstrate it works, here's a Yaesu FT817 being fed into an L-match antenna coupler. This is my home station antenna. It's actually a trap dipole but here I'm using it as a random wire connecting only to the inner connection on the coax. Threaded on the wire is our RF indicator sensor. We are on 7 MHz with the FT817 set up for 500 milliwatts. Oh, the LED at this point is dim. The SWR is high. Oh, There's a clear peak. Now we'll repeat the test, but with the camera on the 817's SWR indicator. Admittedly, it's crude, but I find it's generally satisfactory. Oh. Again, there's a pronounced drop where there's no bars, coinciding with the point where the LED is at maximum brightness. This has been on 7 MHz. Let's try some other frequencies. This is 10 megahertz. Oh. Oh. I'll try 14. Oh. 18. Oh. 21. This works perfectly on all bands from 3.5 to 21 megahertz. The maximum brightness coincides perfectly with the lowest SWR, at least as indicated on the FT817. I have found LEDs surprisingly sensitive for this application. I'm using a random ferrite toid salvaged from a piece of communications gear. If you were to buy one, I'd suggest something like an FT50-43, or even the smaller type, the FT37-43. If you want more sensitivity, like if you're running under 100 milliwatts, then add more turns. If you want less sensitivity, then remove them. If you're using this for even more power, and you've got too much sensitivity even with one turn, then put a series resistor in between the winding and the LED to reduce the sensitivity. If you've got several LEDs and want to find the best for this use, just get a collection of them in conjunction with a resistor around 220K. Using a 9 to 12 volt supply, you should get a dim indication on the LED though you will find the sensitivity of them varies. Pick the LED that gives you the brightest indication with that resistor value. If you're outside on a bright sunny day, it can be hard to spot whether an LED is on or off. To see it, you need to create some contrast. One thing you can do is to use a pipe end like this, which you'll find in the plumbing section of your hardware store. Have the toy on this side, Drill two little holes and have the LED on the concave side. Now here's another bit of trivia, nothing to do with radio. If you're short sighted and need better long sighted vision without having your glasses, try something like this with a small hole of about a millimetre drilled into it. Put it in your eye and you'll be able to see longer distances clearer than before, provided it's reasonably bright. 
Many others have noticed this effect and there's a lot on the web about it. If you want a bit more contrast, I suggest colouring it in with a black marker pen. Or you could line the inside with some black gaffer tape. And by the way, the LED is not polarised. It can be connected either way and it will work. Here's the completed LED antenna current indicator. There's enough room to pass any thin or medium sized antenna wire through the hole in the toid. Just to conclude, this is a super cheap, super quick way of determining whether you're tuned up or not. Particularly useful if you're using a QRP rig that doesn't have an inbuilt SWR indication. If you want to make the most of low power amateur radio, you need minimum QRP. It's a Kindle ebook available for under $5 US. For more information, search Minimum QRP in Amazon.